when you give something to me to keep in my, and, and, and the property is my possession, and, and, and something happens, in, in this case, somebody comes to steal the item, and I go to the police to make a report, and I report it as my property. I, I don't think that there is any, any, um, any, any, any matter there, because the matter was in my possession, in my property, in my bedroom. At the time, it got, it got lost. If investigations further want to establish a source, and I give further and better particulars about the ownership of the property, I don't think that there, there is any no, disconnection. Please, of, uh, in, that's in, a moral argument. That's a moral argument. That's not a moral argument. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. I have this mobile phone that I have access to that I'm using. Do you know whether it belongs to me? When legally, you go and check who bought it. And, 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 and who actually bought it and in, in, uh, in whose name it is registered? There is you cannot establish that on the face of it. Law. Don't okay. let me on the face like of it, that on the face so, of it, you cannot establish it. So I, let's allow the investigations to establish who the ownership yeah. is. And if over time, if over time, oh, the, the charge sheet is amended to the extent that the source is being established. So be it. What is what? What, 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 what is, is the problem Which about law that? Is that? So the premise Which is establishing is that, is that ah. we should all keep quiet until uh, the law takes its court, so and we can't talk this? about that. Ah, these uh, are technical legal matters. Can't come and sit as a lay person and be pro. Okay, point to case. Let me let me now come to you on this. I have every right as a lay person to show to show and share my opinion on this case. You cannot say because I have a lawyer. No, but I don't come out. This is technical legal matters. As a lay person, I will talk about. Okay, so, so, so we are correcting you. So when you try to reserve the person is a public right. The person is a public figure. Yes. Yeah, so let's correct it before you say look, what you said is totally false. Listen, you go to the police station, you have to state exactly what it is. If you go in there, the property is not yours, and you state in the complainant statement that it's yours. Look, that's the that seat of public Yes, officer. inconsistency. That's so when you get to court, what we do in court is that we call for the uh, complainant statement. Yes. We read. Uh huh. Did you see when you went to the police station? What did you say? You said it's yours. Today you are saying it belongs yes. to X. You destroy your case, please. I, am, I beg I you. Am we are not saying don't come in. Alfred. Technical matters, Alfred. please. And that is why I am too late for that. You know, example. Yes. I, uh, I have the no, use but, of this phone this morning, right? It is mine at this point. Uh -huh. On the face of it, it is mine. Okay. I lose this phone. I go to the police station. I state that my phone is missing. My phone is missing. And when the investigation starts, and the, and the police or whoever is investigating wants to establish in whose name is this phone registered, then I'll come up with further and better particulars. Uh, but well, you, your initial position, you said I'll this is, come up with better and better, better particulars. It wait, is mine. Wait. You, your narrative, you said your phone was stolen. You, your phone was stolen. Mm, mm. You are the owner of the phone mm. at the time it was stolen. Yes. You went to the police and said, my phone is stolen. Yes. If investigations go ahead and actually prove that the phone that you said is yours well, is actually not yours, you have deceived the police officer with your initial complaint that the phone belongs to you. Alfred, what that's, I'm that's, saying that's, is, that's actually problematic. This morning, this morning, you assume that because I have possession of this phone and I have the right to use it, it is mine. No, you said that the no, phone but the you have just stated the narrative you are going with is what I'm questioning you. Of on. course, that take the camera. That you, anyway, lawyer Martin people, you see, this one, uh, there's uh, Alfred Chayabua, Deputy Attorney General, says, "Good morning. Mm -hmm. The position is that the police submitted only one docket to the Attorney General, and that is the docket on the stealing pending at the Circuit Court. No docket relating to any." case pending before any other court was submitted to us, which we now understand That's has been pending before said. a juvenile That's court. That's not what we are saying. 
Why we are saying is that there is cause for concern that at a point in time when this matter was before the juvenile court, Madame Cecilia Dapa petitioned the AG she, that she wasn't happy with how the prosecution was being done and that, uh, you know, of course, she had suspicions about incompetence on the investigations and the prosecution and all that. It came there. So it means that uh, it was the AG himself who was petitioned. AG delegated some senior officers to, uh, what do you call it, meet the investigator. So it was a committee. It was grilled to find out, hey, when the minister petitions the AG, so what, 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 yeah, oh, the investigator is suffered, though. That was the first <laughs> investigator. He suffered. Mm. He was hauled before interior minister. He was hauled before the police uh, hierarchy. Hauled before attorney general. Everybody just poking him left, right, center. That is not doing his job well, right? So what we're saying is that senior and I, I, we don't want to mention names. I mean, you and I, we know each other, so private, you can ask me. We'll give you names. Ask them. So mm. the problem is that you've been saying this every day, that one docket was given to you. And we are pointing out to you that very senior people in, the, uh, in your own uh, chambers met the investigator and were told about these things. So since the day that we started mentioning that this case went to the juvenile court, why don't you just summon the senior people and ask them? Every time you bring this statement, one docket was given to us. I mean, it's, 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 it doesn't look, for, it's not forward looking enough. We are mm. saying, and we are lawyers, and we've known each other at the bar for all these years. Well, you can send me a message, call me, who are the people? Then mm -hmm. you ask. But every time we mention this thing, only one docket was given to us. Yeah, but we've given you extra information that very senior people, very senior lawyers, met the investigator. So why don't you, if you, you can't find them, ask me privately for names. I will supply you. But mm. it's, not, it's, it's not encouraging at all that every time you mention this matter that this case was in court last year, then you get a refrain from Mr. Tian Yeboa that only one docket was given to us. Can't you do further investigations? Can't you? Maybe I'll reach out to him after this, this, yeah, uh, please this, do. this, this program please do. to give him. Uh, but he, he, is, he is the big man, so, and he has many people, so he you can send people. You that it's, it's a possibility. And that's what he said. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Is that, it, 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 it's it's, 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 it's a He's a public officer. He has a bigger yes. belly. So if you've heard something, you ask me, oh, Pebu, and we've known each other over all these decades. Oh, Martin, what are the names? Or this, this. You don't do, but you don't consistently bring an answer that only one docket was given to you. When we are giving you further information, further and better particulars, it's not mm -hmm. good. Uh huh. So that's uh, it, 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 that's a specific re 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 uh -huh. response. Is that to, all? Yes. So I mean, I think you, you've just responded yes. to and that particular person, mm. especially because mm. that has been the refrain or the, mm. the narrative mm. from the mm. AG over mm. the period that mm. it was just one docket and mm. they have no knowledge of this yeah. this case at the mm -hmm. at the second court which mm. you mentioned. Yeah. That that's this case right. actually began at the second court yes. before and went to the juvenile, the juvenile court. court. Then somebody has absconded. Then so he stole the trial. From December, eh? around December, the trial was ongoing eh? into January this year. Then somebody absconded and he stole the trial. So all those saying that the, uh, because somebody was a juvenile, that's why the case stalled. No, 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 that's not the reason. Under our laws, even juveniles are tried. Yeah, we have a different dispensation. I always say because uh, you know we have to give them a second chance and all that. Yeah, so it, it, it just stalled because somebody absconded. And it took a long while to look for that person. You know, a lot of police intelligence and all that. And, it, uh, of course, uh, good Samaritans or people who were very peeved. I'll tell you, maybe someday we should write a book about it. <laughs> look, let me tell you, the main side there, it tells you how sometimes citizens are motivated. The person who sought Madame Dapa and revealed the whereabouts of the person who absconded mm -hmm. is because the person was pained that they weren't giving that person enough of the money. So oh, this is what right. happened. The person <laughs> had the information that somebody had taken money, and then he said, oh, is that so? Then he recorded it and asked for part of the money. Then he was giving some, but what he was giving, he wasn't satisfied. He you asked the, for more. The stolen money, <laughs> yes. the sharing of, <laughs> yes. he, he didn't get enough of it. Yes. So he was the one who went to 
to chook. Chook. He went to chook. So he, he went to he chook. Yeah, he did a lot of investigations to go and chook. <laughs> that and it. this is coming from you know, with an so, agenda. So, <laughs> but Alfred, would you so say that? We, I think we should recommend a special prosecutor. In fact, I'll Alfred, just come Jeff, to that. This one, you this, 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 yes, yes. yes. <laughs> you, all, you, all the <laughs> questions I've been asking you. All the questions, respectfully. Yes, please. All the questions I've been asking you are substantive, especially because. Of your knowledge, knowledge, started, your knowledge okay. yes. of this case. Yes. No, so I don't so we, Maybe it's not been lengthy. Yes. <laughs> but I think that we, so that we can have a, a, a like graduated saying, conversation. We, we, should, we should recommend a special prosecutor for the, this. I think the special prosecutor has so, distinguished so, his office for mm -hmm. this. Okay, Amen. Let, let's. Good. Yes. Oh, we'll come to that. I am. I am. I am. The special prosecutor has done a yeoman's job on this by working to the Belen Pay House, you know, searching for that and then. Making sure that her uh, assets are frozen. Mm -hmm. He is following the law, and mm -hmm. this is what every public officer mm -hmm. is supposed to do okay. to take out the public press. Okay. We don't have enough in our public press. Thank and you. And we should be watching it. Indeed, the special prosecutor is the next leg of the conversation. Mm -hmm. So, Alfred Chiaboa is Deputy Attorney General. Mm -hmm. He's joining us on the telephone. Mm -hmm. It's just. Uh, Mr. Chiaboa, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us on Key Point. Hello? Hello? We, we would... Hello, Mr. Chairman, can you hear me? We'll try and work on, on, the, okay. on the telephone um, to, to get him back mm -hmm. on, on, on it. Um, and because he called him to... I think that the, that, that aspect of mm -hmm. how this case started and mm -hmm. the fact that there were representatives, lawyers oh, they from controversy the attorney general they are court papers. office. That thing can never be denied. They are court okay. papers, court proceedings on it. Okay. Mr. Chai Abua, good morning. Good morning, sir. Great. Now, they, your office, the attorney general, are you aware or do you have knowledge of this Cecilia Dapa case starting at the circuit court? even before getting to the juvenile courts that you say you don't have the docket on? Thank you very much. Let me put this one in perspective. Our office got to know about this whole slip, the power matter, when the Chronicle reported it. So from that report, the following Monday, the police submitted a docket to us. In that docket, was this matter was still in that docket is an issue about reports having been made to the police in Tessano in 2022. So in, our, in, the, in the advice that we rendered, we questioned why we could not even see the statement offered by the complainant at the case at Tessano. So even at sea, or we even confused as to what happened with respect to the Tessano case. That's why we queried that one. Now, we only got to know about the statements given by Madame Dapa and the husband in July 2023. These are the statements. We saw statements given by the accused persons in July 2023. We saw nothing about cases pending in 2022, whether in the juvenile court or in the circuit court. But subsequent to our advice to the police, we got to know that actually there was a matter pending in the juvenile court. Could you have taken steps to get the docket from the police? So that's the position. So our opinion or advice that you have is based on the 2023 docket, in which everything from our point of view, what we were told, happened in July of 2023. Nothing about the final court, nothing about other circuit court cases pending in 2022. Well, but we're learning this morning that there were lawyers from your office who were present, state attorneys. and state attorneys for that matter, who were present at the circuit court when this case started from your office? In terms of fact, but if this information, that information, we need to also look at, look at that information. But we're even happy that we're getting information from, for example, my son at the table about the case pending at the, at the juvenile court, who have taken steps to work on. So the police, they know you have the prosecutions in the various courts until our attention is drawn to the pending case. And we are fast in our docket. We are not able to do anything 
outside the doctor that we are given. So instead of the photos that you provided, we follow it up to see whether attorneys were in court, were they handling the matter, or they were in court to do what. We'll be looking at all those things. I'm not sure the information that you provided. I see. But is your office also aware that Cicely Adapa, during the initial stages of this case, actually petitioned the AG's office, your office, about the conduct of the investigator, mm -hmm. the investigator yes, yes. on this and case. And it was an injury. And the and investigator grilled. was actually <laughs> questioned as to why there isn't much interest to establish the monetary aspect mm -hmm. of this particular case, the, the monies that were stolen. Are you aware of that? If I, I get this question, is it Madam Sarah Park petition our office? Yes, she raised concerns. She raised concerns about the investigator mm -hmm. on this case at the initial stages, when it was at the circuit court and even graduated to the to the uh, juvenile court. She raised concerns ah. about the investigator on this case mm -hmm. not showing so much seriousness to establish mm -hmm. the money, mm -hmm. the quantum of the money that was involved. Your office did not get that notice. I have not cited any petition by Madam Sadaba. If Madam Sadaba has filed any petition before our office, definitely you have it. But I will need to check. I have not cited a petition filed by Madam Sadaba to the fact that um, an investigator was doing his work as to the ceiling. I have not. And I don't know whether. But I will check. It is something that is news to me. Yes, yeah, so okay, Mr. Kansi, tell yes. him off air, I will give him further details. Very yeah. wrong. Very yeah. wrong. Mm. I'll be happy. Yeah. I see. Okay. So that 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 would have to be a start. But it, it's quite strange to say the least. That like you said you you got knowledge of this case after it was published by the Chronicle in the newspaper. Exactly. Exactly the point. Hey. Until the Chronicle came out with that report, we were not aware about the uh, about the tendency of such a matter in the circuit court. Yes. That that's the truth. So your, the state attorneys, uh, what's the standard operating procedure in your office? I don't know what you may want to know, but our <laughs> office is operated in terms of the criminal division, is operated by the director of public prosecution and our two lawyer. They have their own ways of doing things. If they have cases, they go to the processes and sign the documents to lawyers to handle. When they handle, the matters, I don't believe there's any for us to even involve the attorney general himself or any of us that will get involved. So principally, the DPP who handles everything about the prosecution division in the ministry, subject to the submission of the attorney general. One of the other issues in here is the, the money.